Guys, you know it, we get straight into things today. How to win at golf with the king, with Big John. Here's the thing, there's a lot of influencers, a lot of YouTubers that will always try to fix your swing, fix your golf game, add 10 yards. The game of golf is not numbers, it's not technique. It's all six inches between the ears, that's my forehead, but we're still dialed in. Today we're gonna get into tips and tricks on the golf course, how to win at golf, how to beat any competition, how to put your competition on tilt, and how to win at life. We got Big John, we got Carter doing a nine hole scramble while explaining to you guys how to think around a golf course mentally to always win. Big John? I'm ready to go, baby. Ready Let's to go. do it. Big John straight out of Trailer Park, eight mile. If you've seen the movie, that's pretty much him, except he learned how to chip and putt on the dirt. Here's yes, the sir. thing. First hole, I throw it on the ground always. Okay, we got a par five here. We're at Sleepy Hole Golf Course. There's this big tree kind of in the middle. We're into the wind today and it's humid. Ball's not going as far. I'm gonna play a little cut, finishing it 10 yards right of that, 10 yards left of that, sorry, early morning. So we're gonna play that cut, 10 yards left of it, sets you up for a DOD into the green. It's very simple, we go for fairways so that we can attack pins. Let's rock. Come on, dude. That is so good. And here's the thing, I always set up my aim so that my miss, which is typically to the right on the driver and irons, it's to the left. I set it up so that my misses are still money. And if I hit it good, I'm perfect. Fine. All right, let's rock. Right. Guys, for too long, everybody in this game has driven it towards numbers, statistics, technique, all that stuff. Everywhere you look on YouTube, Instagram, it's just wannabe instructors, everybody telling you how to have the perfect backswing, how to add, add 10 yards. The game is played between the ears in the dome. You know what I'm saying? I'm bringing that back. There's nobody that's really talking about that. I have the highest competitive edge. I know how to think my way around a golf course to win. And uh, let's get right into it. I piece that right down the middle. Big John, it's a field shot. Uh, field driver. Shot. Driver, obviously. Driver, baby cut right off that bunker. Yeah. Big John, that is right at it. That is right at it. Money, G. Perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Go talk to the people, man. Monkey see, monkey do. Yes, Good shit. Come on now. Good, great shot, Come bro. On now. God, that's so good. Be the number. Dude, are you serious right now? Dude, that was a piece so draw. Come on. Phenomenal. I'm so good at what I do. So at the end of the day, I want you guys to leave this video with a better understanding of how to think around a golf course properly, how to gain confidence out here. A lot of people will take, and they'll see what I do, and they'll take hate from it, and they will try to say it's arrogance, and, and that's just insecurity showing from those people. The other people, my army, the the people, you know what I'm saying, the people, will take confidence from it. They know what's happening, they understand, and they want to learn from it so that they can then implement it into their lives, and those people will succeed. It's human nature. Some people go one way with it, some people go another but the people who go my way will succeed. You know what I'm saying? So we got Big John and Carter here. Um, we probably had like 350 into the wind there. There's, a, there's like a 630 yard par five into the breeze from the tips and we just dogged it. We got two field shots here. It's about 50 from where we are, It's a Carter. number hold the number, Big John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely a field guy number. Field shot. Um, looking to put it close. I mean, you got 60 yards. We need to make 30. Look at the Star Wars rangefinder, yo. The Star Wars rangefinder. All right, guys. Here's the thing. Short-sided pin, 40-ish yards. The key here is you want to be putting, obviously. I always go with the higher lofted club, land it soft, soft mitts. It's into the wind, so it's easier to hold that higher loft against it instead of all that, like, weasel energy of chipping and running. There's, there's no really class agree. to that. Really agree. You know what I'm saying? It's There's no finesse to not spinning the golf ball it's with right. the wedge. You, you, you know have an I mean? opportunity to hit the 62. You hit the 62. You hit the 62. Show me some. Got it. Oh, go Big miles. John. Big John. Try to get too finesse with it. That, here's Got the it. thing. I miss hit shots. Okay. It's cool. Man of the people. I don't fake anything. Johnny, help me out here, G. Yeah, I see kind of a kind of a low nippy one. I like that. I, went I don't a see the high one. I, I see a low nippy one. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you what. That was insanely good. You know, 
Put some so sand in those. So we do. Team North. Team, Team North. The King fixes. Team North. Give it. Trending before. And uh, the thing about it is, take care of your golf course, okay? There's been a bunch of people in the comments saying that I don't fill divots. Do you guys want to watch 15 minutes of me filling divots? This will be the last time. Protect home plate. Protect home plate. All right, so Big John, that was the play there. The nipper, it was. the lower was. flighted nipper, instead of going the high loft, there's no need for me to do that. He has about a seven footer, and that was money. We're going to go hit mine anyway. I know we're doing a scramble, but I just want to, this is a good opportunity to kind of show the people the soft mitts and how, how I think about it at least. So we're in the rough right here. Um, obviously, that was a greasy little wedge I hit. But with this short sided pin, you want to take the most loft you can out of rough, okay? The way I set up to it, we got about a feel shot here. Put the club. I like to have this shaft neutral and my collarbone. Is that the collarbone? I don't know what that is. No. Sternum? Sternum. 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 Got you, bro. Thank you. The sternum. College dropouts, by College the way. dropouts. We're good. I feel like there's a flashlight shining out of my sternum two inches in front of the ball. That's where I bottom out the club. So I got shaft neutral, sternum pointed there. Boom. Soft mitts. Okay. You see what I'm saying, G? You see what I'm saying, G? It's the soft mitt check. Even my miss hits are money. But that's it. That's that's how I set up to it. Nice and easy. Feel shot. Take the hands and use them. They're soft mitts. Just to show the people, because I'm going to get some hate. But this is just first take. You know what I'm saying? And we bada bing, bada boom. That's an up and down from the rough. You feel me, dog? Now, back to the scramble. Johnny M. Show the people how it's done. A little six footer. A little six footer. We always go with pace. Left to right. And when you're reading the brakes and everything, you want to keep a pace that's 12 inches past the hole so that you have a constant so that you know whether your misses are left or right if you're pushing or pulling them. So here we go. 12 inches past the hole. We're saying it's left edge. Big John, drip it in there. And that's just how it's done, you know? King pace. That's just how Firm it's done. Firm back of the cup. That's how we do it. And that, I'll tell you what, that Good was forward. professional, everything that just happened in the last oh. minute and 15 seconds. How we doing, champ? Dude, we're chilling, bro. Chilling. Beautiful day. Sleepy old golf course. 10 a.m. I'm just glad you're in VA, man. Yeah, so am I, dude. Kid from the north, from Detroit. Uh, not used to the humidity down here. A little... A little sticky as they would say you know but you know we adapt or die and uh we got a short little par four here looking to make birdie keep it going all right let's chat about it side note it's my birthday today we're filming on my birthday early morning uh because afternoon today there will i will not be on any social media this is a good hole here we got a par four there's two bunkers on the right there's a greasy little canal ravine on the left i like to and we're into the wind so i like to piece a dod right between the tree and the bunker keeping it in the fairway keeping a wedge in here's the biggest thing okay let's get into this the mental side of it having a pre-shot routine that you do every single time to perfection allows you to black out over the ball and infiltrate the system you know what i'm saying i don't even know what i mean by that but here's the thing I do the same thing every time so that I am always prepared. I never feel the pressure. I embrace it. G toss on the ground. Death stare down at my target. Okay. Got the club to the ball. Set my feet. Three G waggles staring down my target. Two and three. And we feeling it. We locked in. Big John. Big John. Auto. Good fucking ball, dude. You cannot make it up. You seriously cannot make it up. That was peace down the middle, G. Taking back on what the king said, same thing with my pre-shot routine. You got to develop one. You know, you hit the shot that you think's most comfortable. So obviously for me and the king, give it two club twirls, line it up right in between that tree and the bunker, play a little baby cut. One, two, one, two, one, fire. Damn. It's good. It's honestly crazy how clean this is. Did you just sure. go for the tee pickup? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know what I'm doing. You can tell a weasel by the, oh, they go for the tee. Oh, don't give me that. You know what I'm don't saying? Don't give I me that now. recoil. Pick this up my guy. club cover this guy. and bounce. This guy. That was one of the best DODs I've ever hit. A roping hook into the wind. This is a good hole today. And, uh, oh, my range finder is alive now somehow. It's a number. 54 yards. That pin is right at the top of a hill, okay? So you don't want to go over that. What a lot of we're gonna do is take that high lofted club like I just did on the last hole own your mistakes 
and just throw it up into the wind and hope for the best. I try to have it running up the hill like a putt. So I take a less lofty club at 52 degree here and I'm gonna land it like 47 yards and run it up there. Get up there. Good swing, dude. Yeah. At that end, it definitely broke left a lot, but because yeah. I took that, I even miss hit that a little bit, slight pull, but still is money, eight footer pin high. You know what I'm saying? High off the club. Yeah, I like to do around the same. I got a 58, but I'm gonna bring it in really low, nippy. Yep. At just that end, try to, yeah, I mean, dude, you just wanna be on that top tier, right? Yeah. Like, I'll, I would say it's a solid one yard right of the pin. Okay. Kicks right, then falls left the whole way hard as it slows down up that hill. Let's go, Big John. Dude. That is so good going. Oh, oh my God. Come on now. Come on now. Don't play with me now. Don't Go play, play with me now. Don't John. play with He's me now. Straight out of eight mile trailer park, dog. Oh, uh, we just put it inside three feet with the wedge. You got to do it. You know, if you want to be the best, you got to do what the best does. Let's go tap this in for birdie. Here's the thing, back to the G. All right, so we both went over it. This is what I'm talking about. We're trying to run it up so that we have these up to hill right lefters. Raj to Lou, but instead we got these little slippers left to right. Big John's gonna show you how it's done. That's called teamwork, bro. Okay. Proud of you, kid. You know what I'm saying, Big John? Stops. All right, that wasn't great. Gotta be better. Where were we? Right here? Gotta be better. Yeah, right there. Okay. All right, so I didn't watch that. I probably should have, but left to right down the hill. We're gonna drip it in there. 12 inches past. I'm kind of right out. Stay that thing off, slips. Dude. See that we missed it on the wrong side. That's a par. Should have made that. That was 54 yards, Big John. Gotta be better than Gotta that. Gotta be better than that. Gotta be better than that. Some um, kids want it more out here. Here's the Clearly, thing. we don't want it enough. Uh, yeah. You know? And here's the thing. You gotta really want it. Yeah, you do. You do. Ooh. How about that? This this putter, I love it. The GT X TaylorMade, love it. Um, I can't pick up balls with it properly, so I'm still learning that. What do we have? Uh, I don't, John. Here, let me shoot you it. see me at the range finder, big Yeah, yeah I see I you, buddy. It, Come dude. on now. Come on now. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, huh? Give us a good number. 209. You guys saw this in the last video where I played the full round. No tees. Obviously, 68. 209. Here's the thing. This is big. Mental tip, all right? A lot of people see this. They see the water right and short, they see a bunker long, they see grease left. You don't see They're that. tripping yeah. hard, okay? If you start thinking defensive, you will hit a defensive swing. How many times have you thought water right, you hook it left? How many times have you said water right and then you aim so far left and you slice it back? Guys, find your target, find your number, commit to it and then only see that. Even if you're not that good, delusional confidence, you know you can hit it. Big John, 209. I'm the same way. A big thing about this hole too is like you do look at it and like the average amateur everyday player is like don't hit it right, don't hit it right, don't hit it right. Every single time you're going to hit it right. Have a target you like, middle of the bunker, middle of the flag, baby cut, right at it. That is so good. Draw, draw. Oh my God. Oh my God. Go in the hole. Be a hole in one. Oh my God. Did it? Wait, did it? Did we start running? Did we start running? Did it? I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Was that finder? Range finder. Was that close? Big job. Was that close? Oh my god, it's a foot. What'd you, what'd you hit there? Four iron punch cut. Come on, that went stony. Come on, dude. I don't, the thing, that was not a punch cut. It was a. Uh, was a see, you go up yeah, there, wasn't you that a draw? I was about to say, you go up there, you think punch cut, you hit a punch draw, and either way it works, either way I'm putting for birdie. You know? Proud of you, buddy. Team so, player, team so, player. Sure Guys, I got the four iron into the wind. Um, hole. Oh my God. Right there, right there. Hold it, wind. It's perfect, it's perfect. The boys are rolling. So you hit a green in regulation on this hole and you're feeling good. We got about a 10 footer. Let's rock and roll. Here's the thing. Two great golf shots, you know, unbelievable. Have a birdie putt at this after we missed the up and down for birdie on the last hole. Money time, Johnny. What I've we seen feeling? some guys do this on TV, yeah. You know, so I started to do it a little bit, and I'm starting to feel a little. Stuff. Trying to feel a little something. I mean, yeah. 
my right foot has more pressure right. than my left, so it's got to be slanted this way. Yeah. Going Lou to Raj up the hill, 15 feet. Big John, I think it's literally just outside the cup right there. I love it. I love okay. It. Always have an exact amount of pace that you want. We are always 12 inches past the hole so that we can gauge our numbers and know our misses. With the water in the back. I mean, just a hard putt. Just like the worst putt maybe really ever. Just that like rule. maybe ever. Got to be better than that. That's why you don't use aim point. Right there is why you don't We're use aim point. Guy, You're a feel guy. guy. I got that back. Man. Knock it in, buddy. Good roll. Good roll. Good roll. Positive vibes. We got a par five next. On to a par five. It's looking like good old DOD, DOD. Give ourselves an eagle birdie look. We're on to the next. Boys are playing steady. We're playing the way we should, playing smart golf. Uh, taking away the trouble, but keeping in, you know, keeping our balls in play. Doing what we have to do in order to succeed. Let's see it. All right, guys. So. One under three, three is a scramble. Not great, not bad. Here's the thing, on the course, as soon as you get results driven, your mental goes out the window. You start thinking about numbers, results, and all that stuff. It's just one shot, just sling drives, drop putts, add them up at the end. Big jump. Don't think. It's okay, that's all right, that's all right, big jump. That was, that was good content. Content. Content gotta be better. Big John, that's okay. Um, here's the thing, we don't redo shots, okay? We keep it real for the people. That's a DOD. Big John, you know, it's I got, tough. I got too much pride to do that to the people at home. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna name drop other creators. Name but, drop them. you know. Name drop them. There's these guys named Jack Busta. Yeah. Some sort of Busta Yahoo. Yeah, dude, that dude says he does DOD, but he literally, I've seen it. He hits the ground and it has a little grass tee. I throw the ball on the ground and smash it, bud. The ball, and Sorry for the shot, Tracer Winston. I definitely walked right into that, but that was peaced, dog. All right, 175 front, 10 downwind now. It was just into the wind off the box. I love an eight iron. You love an eight I guy. Love Here's the thing iron. about this screen, all right? It's different tiers. So you got your front tier, you got a side tier, you got a back tier. Everything is its own little green. You have to be precise with your numbers. Do not play ego golf and try to pump a nine or whatever club it is for you. Play the number, get the real number. So it's 175 downwind, slightly uphill. It's playing 171. It's a full eight. Now it's kind of back into the wind a little bit, but it's Pretty much a flighted 171 club. I like Big John with the eight. I'm gonna hit a seven because I'm a dog, and we're gonna rock and roll. Yeah, I love the eight iron. I'm always a big advocate for the viewers at home. You pick the club you're most comfortable with, and I'm most comfortable with an eight. If I come up a little short, it's fine, but I really like the eight iron. Big John, sling it in there now, sir. Huh. All right. Short right. Yep. That's the mess, eh? I, I, and that's the thing about it is I would much rather be short right for this pin location long than long, right? right? That's when it's just like you're not thinking about the green. You're thinking about the tiers. You're thinking about your area, okay, and your numbers, your actual yardage of carry. We're going seven iron right at it. Hit it, Win. Be the number. Come on. Be the number. Come on, baby. Splash. Splash. David Johnny, Hasselhoff. You, you got to watch the language on my channel, dog. Sorry, dude. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean Apologize that. Apologize to the viewers. Hey, viewers, I'm sorry, man. I'm a good old boy from Detroit, Michigan, man. We don't do that hey, shit. Hey, mile trailer part, dog. No I'm sorry, man. No cussing on my no channel, deal, dog. dog. It's hard no for me, deal. bro. Like, I I try not to cuss, um, but I refill divot, so we good. I was out in the sun yesterday dialing in the wedges for like seven and a half hours, seven hours, 20 minutes. My nose got burnt. I've been a lot of comments saying about like my nose is sunburned. I need to wear sunscreen. You right. You know what I'm saying? You right. Anyway, we hit a seven iron there. It came out short. It took a little much, a little too much off it. Sorry, I have a lisp. Um, but I hit a good shot. It's a very small part of that front tier. And like we said in the in the mental prep, in the thinking of the golf shot, Johnny missing in a great area here where you have a basic chip for an eagle, par five. Teamwork.
This is why you have to know yourself on the golf course is right here. I know my myths a little right. I knew I might come up a little short, short right. We have an easy up and down here looking for me. Here's the thing, mitts travel, we have soft mitts. So this is why you do what you do and we're really good at what we do. We want to land this depending on your club. You want to roll it in like a putt. We want to land it right in this area and then roll it into this area, okay? Sometimes it's as simple as that. Find a way to make it into the hole. Do not come over here thinking about, oh, I hope I get an up and down. Jar it, okay? Jar it. Shoot okay. for the moon, end up in the stars, or the stars to the moon, I don't know. I like that. You gotta give it a run, eh? Way to do that. Gotta give it a run. All right, guys, so I have a 62 here. I always play it neutral shaft, whether I'm forward, middle, back, always neutral shaft, so I do not dig into the ground. I always use the bounce. I always hit it perfect. Soft mid check, rolled into the hole. Did you say 62? 62. Oh my gosh. I'm really good at what I do. Okay. Johnny Tapper in. Really good stop, dude. Really good stop. This is a good hole here. It's a par four. There's water about 350 out there, give or take. It's into the wind. Very tight hole. There's a tree left center that will block you out. So you want to stay right of it, right at the 150. Low and into the wind, keep it running. Let's go. Little DOD runner. Can't make it up. Good ball, dude. Can't make it up, Big John. Really good ball, dude. Keep it up. Dude. So, obviously a slight pull there, but still money. It's fine. Because you didn't use the tee. Of course. That's if what we you do. use Bada. tees, you Bada. end up in the trees. Be a dog. Go no tees. Into the wind, uphill. Into the wind, uphill. Actual hill. number. 165? 167. Nine iron. Gross fit. It's a good nine for John. It's a smooth eight for me. Know your numbers, know your shots. That was a golf shot. Be the number. Be the number. Dude. You serious right now, Come big dog? Don't play with me now. Don't play with me now. Step up there, champ. Come on now. Come on now. You're the king now. You're the king now. You saw it. You saw it. Give it to him now. Yeah. Yeah. Be the number. Be the number. Good swing, dude. Boys. Boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we got him in that. Fix the greens at home, boys. You fix the greens. One thing at home. Home plate. Protect home plate. Protect home plate. Protect home plate. All right, guys. Two great shots. We're going with Big John uh, from the trailer park. We got a little Luda Raj. He's feeling it. You know what I'm saying? He's feeling it. Yeah, that little, little baby C slap. Come on now. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Winstonia. Keep it Dude. rolling, baby. Solid. Solid. How beautiful was that? Dude. Just a little DOD by the king. Okay. Just a little DOD by the king. Just a little stuff. Nine guy for Big John from the trailer park. Look at the mitts here. Yes, so. Look at the mitts here. Dialed in on all facets. You feel me? And then the big job with the little drip and a little see slap. Here's the thing. When you balling, but you're not really balling, you just give a little baby see slap. When you big balling, uh, 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 triple slap. Three under through five, five numbers. Um, this is a good hole. You guys seen in the previous video. We got OB left. We got a creek left. We got a creek right. You got to piece it down the middle of the fairway. Let's go through the free shot again. You're coming down through it. Let's go situational golf. You're on the hole 15, tough stretch of holes. You're in a tournament, you're in a money match, doesn't matter. You start to think about where you're at money-wise, you start to think about where you're at on the field. External, take it away. When you have a solid pre-shot routine and you have mastered it, you can block all of that out and lock in on the task at hand. All right, let's go. Good 
Really good ball, dude. Well, that might hit him. Oh! Oh, but that was right down the middle, though. Yeah, you know what ball. I'm saying? Shouldn't have been there. But he was good. Shout out to Sleepy Hole Golf Course. Shout out to JT. Shout out to Katie. This is my favorite place. 757. I know we joke around with pre-shot routine, but actually getting yourself in a good mental mental standpoint going into a shot really helps. Uh, can't think about too much. Just think about the target right down the middle. Dialed in, baby. Dialed in. And he roasted it. Oh, it's turning a little left. A little draw off the back. That's still money, G. That's still money, G. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Switch it off. You know what I'm saying? Turn it on now. He's one of those Turn guys. All right, guys, 182, it's a back pin. The biggest thing here with the back pins, you do not want to go long. So 182 is the number. It's playing 178. Let's go. Stay there. Hit it one. Come on. Right there. Just slight pull, but it's on the green. 82. I like to play with a back pin. I love hitting a max out number, so I won't know. I know I will not go long. I think eight iron's perfect. Give me the number. Dude. Uh, shout iron. out to the Sleepy Hole maintenance crew. You know? They are America's backbone. They are America's backbone. And that's the one thing in golf that goes very underappreciated. The people that take time out of their day, wake up early, come out to the golf course, and put the work in for us to be able to just enjoy ourselves out here. Blue collar guy. I always have been, always will be, you know? I, I really appreciate that stuff. All right, two good shots there. I pulled mine, but I'm right there. Johnny hit his right there, so we got a good look at it. That's the biggest thing with those back pins is, okay, we miss hit those shots. Easy two putt, easy make for the one putt birdie. Instead of getting greasy going over, now you're short sighted, now you're stressed out. We live in good, you know what I'm saying? Stress free. What you thinking over here, Bay John? So I know I joked about aim point, but my whole life, I always felt it out like that. And it's wherever, wherever your footing feels most heavy, is how I describe it, is where it's going to break. So if he feels heavy on the right foot there, which he should, it's going to go this way. Here's the thing, John. That's not aim point. That's a field guy. Exactly. That's called Johnny M reading. Dude, I have done that dap into like the knuckles so much never, since COVID. That's the worst thing to come out of COVID is everybody was knuckle bumping. Now everybody's halfway in between. You got to be quick with the switch up. Doesn't break a lot, buddy. Does not break a lot. Man, good four. It's a long hole. We good. This is a good golf course, all right? It's hard to make birdies. If you're hot, you're hot. If not, watch out, Stoney. If not, you good. You know what I'm saying? And whether you're playing in a four-round tournament or a member guest, whatever it is, you want to play to your game. You want to hit greens, give the putter a chance to heat up, and when it's your day, it's your day. 10 under, 12 under. You know what I'm saying? Never be afraid. We shoot low, we go low. We are a number, okay, through six. Doesn't matter. We're not results driven. We're shot driven. Hit bombs off the deck, drop putts, add it up at the end. That's the way it goes. You know what I'm saying? Simple upper game. upper hand high fives today. It's my birthday. Only you know what I'm saying? High fives today. Um, so 170 downwind front pin. I'm going eight iron. Actual number carry 164. Numby. 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 Go in the hole today. Going. Really good shit. Sorry, I can't swear on the channel. Johnny's got to learn how to not cuss. Dude, I, I cuss off camera. I and I have to, like, dial in this switch where I do not cuss. Because I'm, I'm for the people. You know what I'm saying? I'm for everybody. You still like a smooth cutty eight for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. Dude, I just, like, that was bad technique. I just kind of felt it out. I went, like, stiff arm through it just to make sure my ball went on the target. I don't know. All right. I'm a feel guy. Even my best. Even my worst is my best. John. John Hopkins School. Dude, 
Talk about throwing darts and drawing art. Is that rhyme, Dr. Seuss? You know what I'm saying? Oh. That's what we do, dog. Come on now. Come on now. Yes, sir. Come on now. How about the boys just dropping lessons on the people at home today? A man of the people. You guys are the people, and I love you guys. Stoney, cut to that. Look at that. Don't cut it, but, you know, I don't know, editing. Those were insanely good golf shots after everything that we just talked through and everything. It's so beautiful how it all just flows into the video perfectly. Um... People at home, you know, let me know how you like this style. Like I'm trying to, you know, do something that's not been done before by just being myself and being out here and just telling y'all how I think on the golf course, what I feel in my swings and how I go about this game so that you guys can enjoy it a little bit more. We're good. I'll go ahead and start us off with the, the putter driver here. There's mud on the ball. We're not going to touch that. Big John. I didn't want to touch it. a little band-aid there, though, right there. Of course. We're, we're men of the people. Pick that up. Yeah. Men of We're the environment, environment, people. Yeah, can't cancel us. You know nope. what I'm saying? Nope, nope, nope. This is called how to put your competition on edge. You stuff a pin, you put it between your legs, and you let the big dog eat, baby. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Put it on the table now, sir. You feel me, dog? Okay. Oh, run it! That's and that's hole eight. And that's it, right there. Well, that's that's hole six, but seven. Here's the thing. That's how you put your competition on tilt. Okay. Match play, money match coming down the stretch. You've been grinding it out all day. He thinks he's on top, he or she. And you just go up there, you stuff a pen through the legs, put it on the table, boom, jars it. They're going to be thinking, oh my God, what is that guy doing? While you're thinking dubs, cash money, send it to me. Have the Venmo sticker on your bag, a little QR code. All right, hole 17, we are a number through a number. This is a 90 degrees right shot, feel shot. This is a big thing. Get creative on the golf course, okay? See shots, truly commit to those shots, and then execute. You don't have to have these swing thoughts and all that stuff. Think external, think golf shot, commit, feel it out, blackout over the ball because of your pre-shot routine. Johnny, show them how it's done, no words. Go. Oh, this is Big John here with the cut off the deck. Right there, one time. Beautiful. It's fine. All right, it's in the rough. You, you gotta cut, cut it a little bit more. more. That, but you hit a good shot. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. The misses are money. G. You guys know me. You guys know me. I don't care. Pre-shot routine locked in. God, that's so good. Sorry about the shot, Tracy Stoney. Start you know walking. me. Start I just walking. get locked in. Start walking. I'm on a war path, dog. <laughs> and we all. Par four. We're four. We're a number through a number. No results. Sometimes it's easy for the mind to slip, bro. I keep it real. It happens to me all the time. But you got to be better than that. Always improving every day mentally. All right. Field shot. Wedge shot. 89 yards, okay, yeah, winds numbers. right to left, slightly that way, whatever that is today, northwest, southwest, I don't know. And once again, I like to play a little lower shot to run it up because it's near that back tier and we want to stay short of that. Uh, Big John, what you got? I got a 54. I'm going to hit a little low nipper one in there too, dude. I love it. You feel me? I love it. Middle flag, you can pretty much go right at it, this screen light. Johnny, that was such a well-flighted shot. Just a little too much zap, but not enough pat. But it was a good 20 swing. 20 feet right of it. Good swing. Good swing. Come on. Show me something. Guys, wedge shots. Come here, Stoney. Win Stoney behind the camera, the man. What's up, G? What's up, dude? All right, so what did I say? 89 yards? 89. All right, so what I'm thinking here, area surface, surface area, five yards around that pin. I want to be in the bottom right section of that. So I'm thinking beep, boop, bop. 86 yard carry, 56 degree, one yard right of the green. Let's go. So good, dude. Go in the hole. You stay there. You don't feel those divots. You know what I'm saying, G? Once again, guys, it's a beautiful thing. You speak it from here to there, feel it here. 
it becomes reality. Let's go make a bird. Guys, I am dialed in right now. Um, when you think about a specific target area instead of just thinking green, instead of just thinking fairway, when you get specific with it and hone in on your target and commit to it, not have defensive swing thoughts, etc., that's when you play your best. That's when you can black out over the golf ball. Even if you do not have your best stuff on that day, your mind can carry you through. I'm trying to get this through to you guys. Stats, numbers, they don't matter. It's all right here. Get dialed in and smash this game. This is how you win golf. So this is perfect, okay? I'm right there. My game plan was right here. If I fired at the pin, I would be back there. But once again, bulletproof brain, soft mitts, iron. I'm behind the ball. I look at the cup, I shut my eyes. I see the ball leaving the cup and rolling back to the ball. Now I'm locked in, a little pimp step into here. All right, set the putter down first to the cup, to the ball. Set the feet, always looking at the target, to the cup, to the ball, square up the shoulder, boom, to the cup, to the ball, blackout. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe a little, just a little baby C slap or a little slap on. You know what I'm saying? That's the routine that I do. Once again, pressure situations. To stop thinking about how much the putt means, maintain a routine, perfect it. You can control it. You know what I'm saying? It's 18. The infamous 18 at Sleepy Hole is beautiful, man. Birthday vibes, early morning golf. Life is great, G. 18th hole, Sleepy Hole. Probably the hardest hole in Virginia. DOD, you want to aim it right at those three trees. Maybe play a baby cut off that. It's going to be a tough first shot and tough second shot. Just had a good one. It's fine. Big John. Big John, a little Raj on that one. Little Raj. Little Raj with little, the Big John. That's Raj. fine. Stony, audible. Here's the thing. Nobody knows this is happening. Winston doesn't know it's happening. You're hitting DOD, buddy. Show the people something. You know what I'm saying? I'll do a little G-toss for you, bro. Give me that camera. I don't know how to work this thing. Right. Let's, let's... <laughs> yeah, work it? Uh, here's the thing. I'm going to figure out this focus. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. I got right, it. Boys. This Dude, sorry for the camera work ahead of time, everybody. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, focus. Dude, this is the man behind the camera. You guys have no idea how much work this guy puts in behind the scenes to make all this happen. I'm just the face of the operation here. Big John is to the right. We got Winstoni in here with the DOD. He don't use no T's. Let's go, baby. How beautiful is this? Dude, I think, I think I'm nailing this camera work here. Let's go, Stoney. Dude. Winston. And I got the zoom. Sorry, that's such a jagged zoom. But I got the focus. That was money, G. Uh, oh, nice. yes, sir. Everybody at CVA Golf uses no tees. My guy. My guy. You're the man. That's perfect because I so messed up the zoom and everything there. Guys, we using Winstonian celeb shot. Shout out to Winstonian's driver off the deck. Shout out to my camera work there. 210 back pin. You guys know what I've talked about all the time. Sleepy hole 18 is a very tough hole. You have to be very precise with it. I'm a middle of the green player on this hole. Giving myself a putt is my favorite thing. So 211, slightly left to right wind. I'm going six iron and playing it like a little soft. So I hit it like 197 to 200. And I'm going right at the pin because of that wind. So lock in, let's rock. Be good. Pull that wind right there. That was such a bad swing. Be good. Dude. Good swing, dude. Swing. Talk about terrible technique, but a field player who even on their bad days is the best in the game. Carter, what'd you hit? Uh, I hit a six. Baby six. Bad technique. It was the shot. It was the club. I play it two hundo club. Go yeah, right I, got a, I got a six iron too. I'm going to hit a little... Uh, softy right at Hit it. a little softy. I'm going to hit a draw. Hold it up with that wind. Beautiful love big job. Hey, it. show the people what they want to see on the last hole here. Dude, hold it wind. Hold it, wind. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Yeah, big jump. A little spin off the chest. Oh, come on now. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Good ball. Can we get a little scenic view for the viewers at home? Hey, How beautiful hey, this beautiful, is on 18. Man. So good. 
Carter, Guys. I can't wait to eat country ham rolls with you. After. All right, here's the thing. Sleepy Hole Golf Course, Suffolk, Virginia. Country ham rolls. Don't get you me started. Me? Don't, Don't get the guy started. started on it, okay? He already did a review for the Instagram. Uh, it's beautiful. Guys, those two golf shots, I cannot stress the importance of how good hitting this green into it. Shout out to my cameraman, producer, editor, Winstonian Davis for the celeb shot off the box. And uh, Big John with a Big John and the King. This is me right here. I hit a good golf shot. I'm so pleased with this. In tournament play, this is money. I got like a 25 footer right to left, but obviously we're going with Big John here. Let's go make a birdie finish this thing. Big John obviously pin out. We pull out here at CVA Golf. Yes, sir. We don't have any goalies. Yes, sir. Um, Man, this is pretty straightforward. A little Raj Tulu. I think it's barely Raj Tulu. I, I think it's, I think it's, it's pretty cup. straight. I think it's yeah, in I the think cup, same. but I think favor the right side. Exactly. 12 inch pace. Do you like this given right here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Big John. Feel guys. End it. Come on, baby. We got the clubhouse watching us on camera. This is beautiful. We haven't fixed the divot. This is BJWTBJ coming inbound on your local news. And he left it short. That was really bad. That was really bad. I'm not There's gonna two words I have to say, maybe three. You have to be better. That was four. <laughs> but you have to be better. You, you, really you have to be better. That was. You have to be better than that. That was bad. That was bad. There, there's no didn't sugar. Even give me a there lie. is no sugar coating that one. You yeah. need to be better than that. Yeah. You need to be better than that. I got your back. Cut. All right. Show me something. Good putt, dude. Really good. That's really, really, really good. That's really, really, really good. Take that ball out of it. To the water, man. Big John. Love playing with you, dude. Great the time. Man. Great man. time. You're the man, too. Dude. Guys, that's Love BJ, it. WTBJ, and the King checking in and checking out at Sleepy Hole. How to win at golf. Hopefully, you guys learned something. That was a six under round. Nine holes in the wind really good, on dude. my birthday. Really good. Life is beautiful. Okay. Awesome. Guys, subscribe to the channel. Check him out. Check me out. And uh, DOD King out. Shout out Winstonian. 7572 up, 2 down.